there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna. Today we are going to be playing through yet another wonderful episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. So I hope you have your Horizon Zero Dawn pants on. If you don't, go put them on right now. It'll make a big difference, I promise. Anyways, take a second before we begin to hit the like button and we'll get onto that gameplay video. Enjoy! Yes, I remember where we are. Excellent news. Let's go on and fast travel to that destination. Over yonder. And there's some watchers, but they're not corrupted, so... Um... I don't think we'll purposefully engage. But if they see me, I mean, there's only so much I can do. Your makers indeed. Ah, you too? Man, these watchers are dumb. What? No! Just strike it! I pressed the wrong button. That's on me. How can I play a game for as long as I have and still I press the wrong button? Just randomly. Like, you all see I know how to play the game and I'll still press the wrong button sometimes. Just <laughs> to surprise myself, I guess. waste any arrows on you, friends. It's your fault for attacking me. I was just walking along my merry way and you guys were the bandits. <clears throat> so that's on you. Uh, but in the meantime, we got some treasure boxes! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take all of that. Take it, take, take. Yeah. Take it. Heading this way. Need them soon enough. Hmm. We don't need to go straight directly over this overpass, so we'll take this path here. Black smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. Sorry, Fox. I need your skin. Good meat. I didn't even get a skin. Rip. Hey, 
Yep, we're looking good so far. Take. Think you can just walk up to a Ridgewood and then walk away without taking it? That's false, my friend. Look at all the Ridgewood. Look at it. Take it. Take. Can't be too prepared. No, you can't. Well, that's a dark crevice. Well, I guess we should check it out. Corruptor. Weakness is fire. Its canister's weakness is... It has a grenade launcher. Cool. All right. Aloy. Ow! Cheap shot while I was looting. Where's that antidote? Right there, I think, right? No, it's right. No, it's right there. Okay. Here, see what happens. Yeah, just stand in that corruption. It'll be great. Okay. Take all that, heal up real quick. Now back to this. There we go. Okay, almost got it. Now we gotta talk to the commander. And talk to the commander we shall. Truly, the sun shines upon us this day. Wasn't the sun risking its ass down here? Yeah, hello, it was me. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balon! Where are you headed, girl? West! 
to Meridian. All right. That was easy. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Darn tootin'. Walk in light, Nora. Ooh, we leveled up again. All right, what were we working towards? This one. I'm so stoked that we finally learned that one. All right, so now we can modify our weapons and we can take out uncommon modifications and we can put in common ones. I mean, rare ones. What's the point of handling again? Don't know. I like the idea of adding fire to everything. Don't know what the point of handling is. So let's just go ahead and add fire. And then for our, we added tear and fire. I like damage and freeze. And there's nothing else we can add. So let's leave it at that then. This we could definitely change to a rope caster should probably have tear. And a trip caster should probably still have shock, but I can upgrade the shock. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a good mod. I like that. Excellent, and we can modify our outfits. This is the one that we're wearing now, and we want to put in... Oh, I like the idea of the resist corruption, though. Stealth, resist shock, resist fire, resist melee but I like the resist corruption. Resist ranged. Resist melee and freeze. Resist fire. We come up with a lot more fire than anything else, so I kind of like the idea of this one. This one, yeah, you can just stay because I don't really use you. Um, carry capacity. We need more rich meat, and I guess, I guess we need rabbit bones. I hate killing rabbits, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully there's a townsman here. Yeah, we got a we got a seller. Okay, so we'll get some metal shards here because I think we have a lot of junk to sell, which will really help. I'm keeping my eyes open. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. You're not the seller. You're down there. Of course you are. Well, what's up here? I have to know. Parchment scroll of glyphed text and detailed anatomical drawings of machines! Oh my, this is very long. This is very long. Okay, because it's so long, I'm going to skim it and do my best to reiterate it. So, give me a second. A lot of this is like religious nonsense. Them saying, uh, the machines are getting corrupted, but it's not our fault. It's not our fault. We are good to the sun god. If the machines are corrupted, they're more likely to charge. Each wielding a wider array of strange weapons. The wilds are no longer safe. The Banak claim to have recorded a change in the machine songs of the machine spirits, but they've become increasingly discordant. Don't hunt the machines until we figure it out. All right. Not bad. Okay. 
So... I mean, not super useful, but I felt like because it was long, I felt like I should read it. Um, but it wasn't like... It, it didn't really reveal anything we didn't already know. We know that the corruption is becoming more common and then it makes the machines more aggressive. Basically, that's what that was. 15 free shards, I'll take it! All right, can we go up in here? My thing is no. No then. Anything interesting in here for the taking? No, but it looks like there's something going on wherever down there is. Aha! For taking! All right. Machines are bad. Try to get past me. They'll have a fight. That guard is talking a lot of crap on those corrupted machines. I'm like, do you know what you're about to get into? You, sir. What do you have for sale? Excuse me. Excuse me. I need the takes. Excuse me. Yes, I need it. Takes. Okay. Now let's talk merchant stuff. Let me sell you all my junk. I would like to sell you just junk. So all of the, can I mark to sell? Oh yeah, I can go through and just sell everything that's marked. Okay, used for selling, used for trading, used for trading, selling, used for selling, used for trading, crafting, we're looking for anything that is only used for selling, then I will sell all of that items. I wish it was easier and sorted itself like that. Wait, can I just... What if I just tried to sort it again? Sort by item value. Look at all the Ridgewood I have! <laughs> Wait, how much shards could I sell all this stuff for? Wait though, I gotta know. Oh, merchant is not interested in this item. Oh. Bummer. That would have been cool. All right, so instead we'll do this. And we'll do what we were doing. Which of course reset itself. Sell. 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 Really? Okay. Sell. Sell, sell. Yeah, sell. Just going down the list of things to sell, sell, sell. Okay, so now, in theory, we should just be able to press X and sell all of our marked items. Currently, we have 1,400 shards. What does this get us? That was so disappointing. I thought for sure that would get us so much more shards. Rip. Adieu. Sucks. All right, though, I guess. Ooh, look at all these fancy bows. I want them. Oh. This is like a sniper bow. This lightweight bow trades power for faster reload and firing time and is good for short to medium range combat. Fire arrows can ignite blaze canisters and backpacks can be modified. Three modification slots. I think at the very least we should trade this in for our, what are we working with? Like hunter bow. Yeah, I think at the very least we should upgrade our hunter bow because that's our everyday bow. Hmm, <clears throat> right? Yeah. That's how I feel about this. We did it! 
So exciting. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, fires elemental payloads. Um, now, the sharp shot bow, I don't really know how I feel about it because we do already have the Karja sharp shot bow. Um, this is also slow firing but highly accurate. I think I'm not gonna upgrade it just yet. That's my thoughts. Um, because I just don't feel ready right now. Arrow breaker. Protect from projectiles. Okay. Protect protect from melee and protect against elemental. I think I'm still happy with what we have. Um, as far as that goes, uh, how many? We have 12, and I like the idea of keeping that for now. This! Look at this, you guys. I need one fox skin to buy this. I'm so mad. I should have been killing foxes the whole time. I can't believe it. I want this so badly, and instead, I need a fox skin. Rip me. For real. Those foxes win again. Ah, rip! Wait, I didn't buy your treasure box yet. Definitely take that free sample box. <laughs> what is this, Costco? And I'll definitely take the gambler's box because it's pretty low risk, potentially high reward. We'll open up what we've received. Ooh, all right, not bad. All right, not bad. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're happy with that. Now, I... Yeah. Mm. Ooh, that's new with our Shatter Hunter... Sh Shadow Hunter bow. Uh, hard point arrow pack, and that does... extra tear damage without us having to switch to our sharp shot bow. This does 77... Or, no, it does 77 damage with 41 tear. This does 30 damage with 75 tear. So if we want to do handling and tear, we want that. But we also haven't modified our bow yet, which we definitely want to do. So we'll switch on over. I wonder if we should buy... Can we buy modifications? We can buy a modification box. But we... Doesn't look like we can buy actual modifications. Okay. So what that means is we have to work with the mods we have, and in which case, if we're not going to use this, we can take these out. Um, yes. Modify weapons. Clear? Clear. Wow, this was perfect timing for us to level up and get that tinker uh, skill. Because now we can just save all of those modifications that we love so much. So I think definitely, yes, up the tear and up the fire. And then we need one more good modification. What should we use? We already upped the fire. We could up the handling. I don't really know what that does. Maybe faster reload time? Um, but we could just up our damage and our tear some more. That's a pretty good 13 plus 5. I like it. I like it. I think that's a good mod. That's the best uncommon mod we have. So we'll definitely do that. I'm pretty happy with that. How do we feel about that? So while we're here, it looks like we can collect some side quests, which I think we should definitely collect, even if we're not going to do them right now. But let's collect them anyway. OK. 
Captain Balan? I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King Avad wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I like that. Peace is strength. So the Karja are allied with the Asuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Asuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursur and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them, scaled the North Cliff with my men, and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King Avad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that soldier? <laughs> Nothing, sir. Please say yes. Please say yes. That was hilarious. I love that little personality uh, injection there. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. 
Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Waleed. They say you hear yes. that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Okay, so is that a side quest? Yeah, it's a side quest. Technically, it's not even a side quest. It's an errand. So, uh, it's definitely not very high on our to-do list. But we could probably do a Daughter's Vengeance. But where does that take us? Way back yonder over there. And where does this errand take us? Not that far yonder, but we can fast travel to pretty close to both of those locations. But we were trying to stay on main quest line today. But you know me, I just want to do it all. All right, let's go do those side quests. Select them. Uh, so this one is level 15 and it's farther into the, oh, but you know what we should do before we, do that is we should collect the rest of the side quests in this area oh looks like we got them that was the only quest all right great so let's fast travel and while we're on our way you know we're going to be killing some foxes so that we can get that when we come back we can get that gold fast travel pack okay there's many campfire in this area but this one is on the path of justice. So this is the one we're gonna go to. Can you just, can you just go there? Thanks. Okay, let's go talk to the person we're supposed to talk to. Ooh, and there's a quest here too. Oh, I'm so distracted. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's Sona. What's up, friend? War Chief Sona, you're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. <laughs> still, the concern is not yours. You're not planning to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. I have chill water now. Good. Our ice and fire will stave off the machines. That leaves the matter of the lance horn lands. There is hunting to the west of here. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. Oh, I would. Because I'm nice. We don't have a lancehorn lens. We might have to kill a lot of lancehorns in order to... to get this. However, we'll get a generous reward box out of it. So... I feel like it'll be worth it, right? Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's we were just there. Do there. But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer, the worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He, he mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. A 
I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. She can't come back. The Matriarchs won't allow it. But I'd be so grateful if you could find her and help her if she needs it. And please, keep this between us. I you will. got it. I promise. Will do. Lie dead and wounded. The machines are frenzied. Only the goddess can save us now. So what's her current active quest? Because it sure as heck isn't going to be the one that takes us back to where exactly we were. Uh, this is why you do your side quests, friends. You do them in the order you receive them because you're going to wish you had done them as you go along your journey. But don't listen to me. What do I know? Let's go hunt some lance horns and hopefully this happens really fast. We're merchant lance horns. All right. Wow, what an episode. That unfortunately right there is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please do leave me a comment and tell me because how can I know if you guys don't talk to me? Like I said, I read every single comment that you guys leave me and uh, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. So don't forget to like that video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification. Ooh, I almost hit my mic. Hit that notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you guys. Bye! Extra long bye for you there. Okay, bye.